Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about uh, Fujifilm and why I like Fujifilm as a company, as a, a camera manufacturer or a photography gear manufacturer, let's say. Uh, why do I like them? Now, not too long ago, just one week ago, they released a firmware update and uh, for, for a few cameras, you know, um, like the X-T2, the X-T20 uh, and the X-Pro2 and these cameras, probably the GFX as well, yeah. So, uh, but in this firmware update, what they did, it's unbelievable. I mean, I, uh, uh, f I, I really like this, I tell you. And, and that was, they released a firmware update for the X-Pro2. Now I'm talking about the X-Pro2. Uh, they released a firmware update where the X-Pro2 now can shoot 4K video. That is unbelievable, lads, I tell you. I mean, just think a little bit. It's, it's like Sony has the A6000 on the market, which shoots 1080p only. And uh, it's like Sony would release a firmware update where uh, the A6000 would shoot 4K. Would they do that? I don't think so. I think that Fujifilm is the only company who does this, that they, they provide firmware update and they provide uh, many, many positive, you know, in the future. The example, if you buy a camera today from Fujifilm, maybe after a year, you know, they will release a firmware update where the autofocus uh, will be twice as fast, you know, like, uh, like today. If it's about software, they will upgrade all the time the softwares and they will provide firmware updates. And the example, the X-Pro2, the firmware update, it not only the 4K video recording, but it also the autofocus was tweaked, you know, the algorithm was changed. So the autofocus is much faster than it used to be. Again, for the X-T2, they did uh, the autofocus, you know, they, they say that it is uh, uh, twice as, as fast. I wouldn't say it's twice as fast. Now, honestly, I didn't try the X-T2 after the firmware update, just before the firmware update, but uh, I think that it could not be twice as fast, but it will be significantly faster. And uh, I will try soon the, the X-T2 because I go up to Dublin to the camera shop and I will try with the new firmware and uh, I, will, I will be able to tell you then 100%, but I can guarantee you that it will be faster than it was before, you know. But anyway, the the reason is why they do this because they care about their customers and in my opinion this is something but it's really really good because nobody does that i mean the, i never heard something like that that a camera that didn't shoot 4k video uh, suddenly they give a firmware update and they uh, <coughs> the same camera will shoot 4k video that's amazing yeah even the the X-T2 and the X-T20 got some, uh, some um, good firmware updates, I would say. But this is the most important for the X-Pro2, because the X-Pro2 didn't have the, the 4K video. Now, honestly, uh, they re limited the 4K video recording for 10 minutes, like my X-T20. You know, it has the 4K video recording time 20, 10 minutes, sorry, because of the overheating issues. And that's fair enough, because they say, you know, from the beginning, look, the camera it's overheating it's normal it's a small body it doesn't have it's not like panasonic cameras you know they have a, a bigger chunkier bodies you know and they can uh, they can put over there some uh, in the inside you know with uh, heat sinks and these kind of things you know where the uh, they can uh, they can control the overheating but it's not in the small bodies so it's kind of fair enough you know that the, the recording is 10 minutes but at least they say so you are prepared for that. Anyway, I think that this is, a, this is some <laughs> very exciting news and, and this is one of the reasons I did buy the X-T20, you know, and I'm thinking to buy another Fujifilm camera because of these kind of positive things what happens in the Fuji world, you know. Obviously there are disadvantages because no camera manufacturer is perfect. That's fair enough, you know. But in the same time, I think that they try and they care about their customers. Yeah, let me uh, uh, ask you to, to tell me what do you think about this? What do you think about Fujifilm? Uh, please leave a comment down below and uh, 
tell me if you heard any other company who did this, you know, like this is unbelievable for me that a camera who didn't shoot 4K video, you know, just uh, overnight get a firmware update and it shoots 4K video. Uh, it's, uh, it's good, it's great, I'd say. So I hope that this video was uh, helpful to you guys. If you want to add something to this video or if you think that I made a mistake or so, please leave a comment down below and uh, uh, say your opinion, say your experience. Uh, if you are a Fuji user or if you are other uh, brand user, it doesn't really matter. This should be a community where we could discuss, you know, uh, these things. And that's why I created this, this channel, you know, to have a community where we can help each other, we can discuss with each other. And uh, if you want to add something, like I said, please feel free and leave a comment down below. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe and share my videos. And other than that, I wish you a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. You're a superhero.